हेलो फ्रेंड्स अब आज हमारा इंग्लिश स्पीकिंग में दूसरा दिन है और हम इंग्लिश uh, लर्निंग के लिए एक चैलेंज लेके चल रहे हैं आप जब इंग्लिश लर्निंग के लिए आप जब जाएंगे आप जब uh, इस पर कोई भी चीज़ एक्सप्लोर करेंगे यूट्यूब पे बहुत सारे वीडियोस हैं तो आपको बहुत कुछ उसमें दिखेगा uh, हम एक सिंपल मेथड लेके चल रहे हैं जिसमें कि आ, हम ऐसा लेके चल रहे हैं कि हमें कुछ भी नहीं आता और ना ही हमारे पास कोई बहुत सारे टेक्निक्स हैं ना ही हमारे पास कोई बहुत सारी स्ट्रैटीज़ हैं हम लोग बहुत सिंपल तरीके से बस एक 21 डेज या 31 डेज़ का एक चैलेंज लेके चल रहे हैं उस चैलेंज में हमें क्या करना है हमें इंग्लिश को रीड करना है पढ़ना है और आपका अपना कोई भी पसंदीदा चीज़ आप ले सकते हैं और सुबह आप एक टाइम फिक्स कर लीजिए ज़्यादा अच्छा होगा अगर सुबह पाँच बजे मतलब हम 45 मिनट्स का एक रीडिंग चैलेंज लेके चल रहे हैं और देखते हैं कि इस 45 डेज के 45 मिनट्स के 31 डेज के रीडिंग चैलेंज में हमें क्या बेनिफिट मिलता है इसमें जो तरीका है ये जो टेक्निक है इसको बेसिकली ये प्रैक्टिस के ऊपर आधारित है और आपको एक नई तरह की लर्निंग अपने माइंड को देनी है आप अगर यूट्यूब पे सर्च करेंगे तो इस टॉपिक पे इंग्लिश स्पीकिंग पे आपको दुनिया भर का मटेरियल मिल जाएगा मुझे लगता है बहुत ज़्यादा मटेरियल मिल जाएगा और कई हज़ार तरीके आपको मिलेंगे ये एक सिंपल सा टेक्निक हम लेके चल रहे हैं जिसमें आपको पढ़ना है फोर्टी मिनट्स थर्टी डेज हमें रीड करना है इंग्लिश को और उसके बाद हम खुद देखेंगे वेदर द चेंज कम्स और नॉट तो अभी ये कि जो भी आपके पास टेक्स्ट बुक है यहाँ तक कि जो पेरेंट्स मान लो देखिए ये वीडियो वही लोग देख रहे हैं जिनको एटलीस्ट इंग्लिश रीडिंग आती है और आपके घर में डेफिनेटली जो भी ये सोच रहे हैं कि इंग्लिश सीखना है उनके घर में एक दो किताबें इंग्लिश की मिल जाएगी अगर नहीं है तो आपके बच्चे स्कूल जाते होंगे उनकी कोई सी भी बुक उठा लीजिए आप ई ले सकते हैं आप इंग्लिश ले सकते हैं और उन बच्चों की सारी किताबें हिंदी को छोड़ के सभी इंग्लिश में होती है यहाँ तक कि अगर कुछ नहीं तो मैथमेटिक्स को भी आप इंग्लिश में पढ़ सकते हैं तो हमारा चैलेंज ये है कि फोर्टी फाइव मिनट्स हम पढ़ें और हम पढ़ने के बाद ये हमारा थर्टी डेज का चैलेंज है और मॉर्निंग टाइम ज़्यादा बेहतर रहेगा आपको जल्दी उठना है टाइम मैं फिक्स कर रही हूँ 5 ए एम पाँच बजे उठना है और पाँच बजे से उठ के फाइव तक हमें रीड करना है अब हम इसको रीडिंग कर पाते हैं या नहीं इसके क्या बेनिफिट्स होते हैं क्या इसके फ़ायदे होते हैं ये हम हम अपने क्योंकि मैं भी अपने ऊपर एक्सपेरिमेंट कर रही हूँ तो देखते हैं इसमें क्या होता है आज मैंने एक कोई अच्छी सी मोटिवेशनल बुक ले ली है और उसको मैं पढ़ के आपको सुनाती हूँ तो आपको इसको पढ़ने के बाद हम देखते हैं कि हमारे अंदर क्या बदलाव आता है कोई भी आप कुछ भी ले सकते हैं सिर्फ इंग्लिश में होना चाहिए और आप उसको पढ़ना आपको आना चाहिए अब हम ये स्टार्ट करते हैं तो मैं आपके सामने कुछ पढ़ रही हूँ Millions of men had received instructions to cease fighting, and their combined yet uh, joy set into motion a thought a wave that swept the entire world and made itself felt in a in every normal mind that was capable of registering this thought wave. Perhaps never in history of the world had so millions of people thought of the same thing in the same manner at the same time. For once in the history of the world, everybody felt something in common, and the effect of this harmonized thought was the worldwide mob psychology that we witnessed on uh, our mystic day. In connection with this statement, it will be helpful if you recall what was said about the method of creating a master mind uh, through the harmony of thought of two or more persons in the introductory lessons of this course. Uh, we will bring the application of this principle a little nearer home by showing how it may be uh, made uh, made to make or break 
the harmonious working relationship of a business or industry you may have you may have satisfied yourself that it was the harmony of thought of M milson of soldiers that registered in the mind of people of the world and caused the mob psychology condition that was everywhere in evidence on armistic day jab aap padhenge jab aap isko reading karenge aur isme do cheeze hain subah 5 baje uthke 5 am to 5:45 am hame read karna hai aapko koi bhi book english ki जो आपको आपके पास अवेलेबल है खरीदना भी नहीं है उसको आप रीड करें यहाँ तक कि मोबाइल में भी सब कुछ मिल जाता है ऑनलाइन कुछ भी आप कोई सा भी ब्लॉग खोल लें उसमें और उसको पढ़ें अब डिपेंड करता है कि जब आप रीड कर रहे हैं आपको बोल बोल कर पढ़ना है बच्चों की तरह बिल्कुल लाउड रीडिंग तो नियम हमारा है फाइव ए एम टू फाइव एम रीडिंग एवरी डे फॉर नेक्स्ट थर्टी डेज second whatever book available you can take the book and read it it would be better if you are taking the hard copy of the book a soft copy mein thoda dikkat hota hai but if you are taking hard copy that is fine generally nobody's children is going to school at 5 45 am so any of the books from your children even you can read out and the third uh, condition of this learning is that we have to be a reading 45 minutes per day okay so these three rules are there first is uh, the rule number 1 is that we have to uh, we have to uh, i i'm just writing these rules okay so the rule uh, these are the, the rules are the rule of the english speaking is number 1 every day 45 minutes loud reading remember we have to read loudly so this is this loud reading is very significant this loud reading is very significant we have to be very particular about the loud reading that is the thing which is going to change our rule so this loud reading is very significant this is rule number okay uh, and this is a challenge we are taking for next 45 uh, days now two rule number two is we are reading any book any book it means we are not focusing on that uh, the the book should be english uh, i mean you have to purchase this book or that or particular it is it is not there any book any available book we have to read this is rule number 2 and rule number 3 is rule number 3 is that uh the reading is loud the reading is loud i mean just like children we have to read there is no shame in this there is no shame uh if people in your family member if somebody is laughing somebody is making fun of you whatever it is there no need to feel bad these are all small things which we need to do so the uh, main condition is uh, the reading is loud you cannot read like uh, silently and the 
fourth condition is i mean this is not a actually a very uh, strong condition but the uh, condition is that the book must be in hard copy uh, i mean this condition is not very hard because uh, some people are very comfortable reading on uh, yeah, online also i mean some are very comfortable in reading in the material which is available in the mobile it's on you whether you like it in a hard copy or uh, uh, you like it in a soft copy it's your choice so then uh, so let me come to the points which i was talking about first is uh, our uh, what we are trying what we are trying right now every day 45 minutes loud reading it means whatever material we are reading we have to read loudly then we are reading a, any book any book of your choice i mean there is no uh, uh, any book of your choice okay so any book of your choice you can read the third is the reading the next condition is the uh, reading is loud i mean we cannot read uh, silently reading is loud the 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 fourth is it is not a very uh, hard condition but it is just like that it depends on your choice uh, whether you like hard or soft so uh, it, it depends on person to person if you are comfortable with a hard copy that's fine if you are comfortable with mobile that is also fine you can take you can do this so uh, finally what is that 45 minutes 45 minutes so our challenge is 45 minutes 45 minutes per day 45 minutes per day for next 31 days reading english it is a simple uh, thing we are learning it is a simple thing we are trying to do so that's that is our challenge we are taking and you have to read just 45 minutes don't bother how you are reading maybe uh, you know sometime initially you won't be able to read so fluently maybe sometime you won't be able to understand uh, the words uh, difficult words there uh, it could happen it will happen that is not a big issue okay so and don't bother about the meaning don't get it in mode also we are not getting into writing mode also so only initial change initial challenge we are taking 45 minutes per day reading 31 days loud reading that is our challenge so now let's start so our challenge start now whatever apprehensions come in your mind whatever uncomfortable you feel ignore it initially ignore it so we are giving just one practice to our mind and uh, we are ignoring everything else and now let's come to the point we will bring the application of this principle a little nearer home by showing how it may be made to make or break the harmonious working relationship of a business or industry we may not have satisfied uh, yourself it was the harmony of thought of a milson a soldiers that registered the in the minds of the people of the world and caused the mob psych psychology condition that was every uh, where in evidence on our mystic day but you will need no proof that is this gruntled person always disturb everyone with whom he comes in contact it is a well established fact that one such person in a place of employment will disrupt the entire organization the time is almost at hand when neither the worker nor the employer will tolerate the psycho, uh, the typical gr grudge inside of the place of employment for the uh, for the reason that is a state of mind registered itself in the minds of those about him resulting in distrust suspicion and lack of harmony the time is nearer at hand when he uh, when the worker in the place of employment will no more tolerate uh, one of their own rank and file who is typical grudge them they would a poisonous snake okay friends so i'm reading one of the book which is uh, i mean it is 
uh, the book is law of success and it is giving certain principles about success how to become successful in your life so these are the quotations by the writer napoleon hill and i'm reading out before you my purpose is my target is to read 45 minutes no man has a chance to enjoy permanent success until he begins to look in a mirror for the real cause of all his mistakes uh, in a way i mean after every uh, three page this quotation these quotations are there if you must slander someone don't speak it it uh, but write in write it right in the sand near the water's edge i mean uh, the napoleon hill is saying that don't don't be afraid of a little uh, opposition remember that the kite of success generally rises against the wind of adversity not with it uh, re render more service than uh, that for which you are paid and you will soon be paid for more than one render the the law of uh, increasing returns takes care of this i mean if somebody is asking you 10% try to give them 20% this is the law of deliverance every failure is a blessing in disguise providing it teaches some need need needed lessons one could not have learned without it most so called failures are only temporary defeats to believe in the heroic makes heroic if you are believing heroic acts you will be uh start working as a heroic if you do not believe in cooperation look what happens to a wagon that uh, loses a wheel so we need to work in a cooperation courage is the standing arm of the souls which keeps it from conquest pillage and slavery uh, courage is the standing arm army of the souls which keeps it from conquest pillage and slavery henry van dyck then this is from immersion man is to interest us when we find their limitations the only sin is limitation uh, as soon as you once come up to the men's limitations it is all over with them so there is no limitation actually in the life you cannot become a power in your immunity nor achieve enduring success in any worthy undertaking until you become big enough to blame yourself for your own mistakes and reverse so there is only one way to grow in life that is take the responsibility of your mistakes don't blame others never in the history of the world has uh, there been such abundant opportunity as there is now for a person who is willing to serve before trying to collect so first we need to deliver the thing then only expect any result a man is half whipped the minute he begins to feel sorry for himself or to spin an alibi within which he would explain away his defeats a man is a half whipped the minute he begins to feel sorry for himself i mean if we are feeling sorry for ourselves we are whipping whipping ka matlab hota koda marna jo leather ka jo whip hota hai na usko marna to ye aisa hai ki as if we are whipping to self if we are saying sorry for uh, for us like i mean suppose uh, i'm not able to do this uh, i'm not good in this these kind of statements are actually uh, killing so we shall not go for such kind of self destructing statements uh, seeking the counsel of man who will tell you the truth about yourself uh, even if it hurts you to hear it mere condemnation commendation will not bring the improvement a uh, unit like this word uh, commendation uh, aim in life is the only uh, fortune worth finding and it is not to be found in foreign lands but in the heart itself so aapko kya karna hai first of all you have to find the aim of your life i mean as if i have found the aim of my life my aim of my life is to do something every day meaningful which i can actually improve myself also and if it is helping others as well so this is what my aim of life so that's how we have to find an aim in the life is the only fortune worth finding and it is not to be found in the foreign lands but in the uh, heartland like many people you know uh, many people they try to uh, buy gold they try to uh, i mean uh, collect some assets they try to make 
lot of furniture in the home big house big car and everything but the the one very poor and serious thing is they don't know even what to do what is the purpose of their life they don't know so what is significant find the aim of your life that is more more significant if you cannot do great things yourself remember that you may do small things in a great way if you cannot do great things then do small things in a great way a winner never quits and a, a quitter never wins a winner never quits and a quitter never wins so today we are reading this book if you could see it uh, i'm just uh, trying to give you the impression this is the book which we are reading and uh, this law of success by napoleon hill it is a revised edition which i am able to show you so you just see this is a book which we are reading law of success and in this book you will find that uh, certain very uh, if you could see i mean because actually the words are little uh, light the dark words are not dark actually if i can show you uh, this is the only way because it's a pdf pdf version i am trying to give you okay this is the book which i am trying to give you so uh, i am just reading because this is a text which you could see actually it's a very nice and a popular book and uh, it has all the principles of law of success okay so uh, actually the uh, this is the uh, you see this table is given actually if you see this table this is the table which this is the table which i am right right now trying to uh, make you understand okay so if you have if you want to become successful this is the table which i am going to explain uh, it is a part of our reading only so an exercise in comparison i mean uh, actually if you see the book if the book is published that's the problem with the uh hard copy and the soft copy if you have a hard copy see i i have a hard copy i mean this is a hard copy before me if you see this is a hard copy i have with me i'll show you you see this is a hard copy uh this is a it's a very thick book and this is hard copy if you could see this is hard copy and uh, the table which i'm reading is here it's it is here i mean this is because it's this is the table which i am trying to read and this table is given in a very uh, i mean collective manner i mean this one page is uh, the 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 half table is there and half table is there so we can actually read out but because we are going for the uh, soft copy right now so to just show you in the screen i am trying to make this so this is the i mean you can actually understand i am just reading out a certain portion out of this uh in this uh, table the writer is saying these are the qualities okay these are the qualities which uh, any successful pe person must have and the qualities are uh, i'm just reading out that it is the the master mind uh, a definite chief aim a self confidence the habit of saving uh, initiative and leadership then imagination uh, imagination enthusiasm self control Uh, the habit of doing more than paid for uh, i mean see these are the things a mastermind a person who is trying for success they have a different kind of mindset they do things in a different way so successful uh, people don't do different things but they do things in a different way and a definite chief aim they always have a perfect aim in their life for example see henry ford benjamin franklin george washington and abraham lincoln four personalities he has taken and then we are marking so the mastermind henry ford had 100% mastermind benjamin franklin had 100% mastermind uh, george washington had 100% mastermind abraham lincoln was 100% so he is marking napoleon he is he is marking them that they are 100% uh in this i mean if you mark them henry ford and hope ford motors you know i mean this ford motors is very popular so ford motor ke jo malik the henry ford unka naam tha unka jo mastermind tha uski marking mein 100% unko milte hain chief definite aim all of these 
have uh, Henry Ford, Benjamin Franklin, George Washington, and Abraham Lincoln. They had hundred percent definite aim of their life. Self confidence. Uh, uh, Henry Ford was hundred percent. Then Benjamin Franklin uh, ninety, George Washington eighty, Abraham Lincoln seventy five. Then the habit of saving. Uh, all of these people had a very good habit of saving, but uh, Abraham Lincoln is very poor. because where henry ford who is 100% getting marks in habit of saving george washington is getting 75 and abram lincoln is getting only 20 marks uh, which is i think uh, you see these two people are somewhere business men henry ford and benjamin franklin and george washington and abram lincoln they are politicians so maybe uh, I, i mean the writer might have some uh, you know system to mark them in a way or he might have Gone through their uh, personal detail of their accounts, their, I mean, you know, their bank uh, information. On the basis of that, he might have uh, given these marking. Then the next is initiative and leadership. In initiative and leadership, Henry Ford is getting hundred percent mark. Benjamin Franklin is sixty out of hundred. George Washington is getting hundred, and Abraham Lincoln is getting. Uh, Abraham is getting. Uh, Abraham Lincoln is getting sixty. Then imagination. All of these people had imagination. See, imagination is one of the most wonderful faculty of our mind. Even if you know this is one of the wonderful rule to achieve success. For example, you are planning something. You want to achieve something. Just imagine. Imagination is one of the most wonderful. Uh, I mean, you know, part of our brain also. So when you uh, imagine something, see, you cannot do anything. Uh, you cannot achieve the success right now. But at least you can imagine. Okay, imagine the thing which you want to achieve in your life, and that is going to help you so much. So just lie down, maybe the closed eye or or open eye. When you are doing it with closed eye, you should not sleep. Uh, for I mean, you should not sleep. So. uh imagination is i mean even if whole day you are not able to do anything the days might have gone very bad and your health is not so well uh, there is a problem you know it could be financial it could be health it could be family it could be some outside weather uh, or maybe financial crunch anything any problem you are facing but for a time being maybe you know per day 45 minute just just lie down and imagine the best thing of your life best thing best of the success whatever dreams you are thinking whatever dreams you are uh, you know uh, um, imagining or uh, you are you are seeing the dream just think them they are fulfilled for example you want to buy a uh, a big home just imagine that you have brought the big home uh, you want to travel abroad okay complete world you want to travel just imagine that you are traveling the whole world the, or maybe you want to write a book maybe you want to become a very successful in your business or i mean maybe you want to get married or whatever it is there uh, your life achievements just imagine imagination is a wonderful habit of mind and uh, it, it brings uh, success very quickly believe me so then enthusiasm they all have been very enthusiastic any work when they start they do it lot of enthusiasm so the marking pattern is uh, Henry Ford is getting seventy-five marks for enthusiasm out of hundred. Benjamin Franklin is, is getting eighty. George Washington is getting ninety, and Abraham Lincoln is getting sixty. Self-control. All of these people had self-control. Self-control of your speech. Self-control of your eating habits. Self-control of your working patterns. Uh, suppose if you have started anything, for example, we have taken a challenge of thirty-one uh, days. a 45 minute reading so this whether we are able to achieve it for next 45 min 45 days or not that is our challenge and how much control we have whether we are able to get up on time whether so these are the uh, things which we need to uh, do then uh, the habit of doing more than paid for uh, this is actually a very wonderful uh, principle and uh, why this is so significant because mostly you know people talk about unemployment people talk about they are not getting proper i mean you know good job they are not satisfied with their job so many issues we come to know uh, every day basis but 
uh, what the successful people they did say that uh, first you do okay for example let me just give you a small example ek chota sa udaharan main aapko deti hu ki aapki garden mein mali aata hai aur uh, aap usko 150 rupya dete hain 150 rupees per uh, week dete hain ya per month dete hain ya aap usko uh, 3000 rupees per month dete hain jo bhi aapka apna wo hai मार्केट रेट के हिसाब से या आप लोगों के एडजस्टमेंट के हिसाब से सो so, आप उसको हंड थ्री थाउजेंड रुपीज़ पर मंथ देते हैं और आप सोचते हैं कि मेरा गार्डन में अच्छा रहे अब वो क्या करता है आपके गार्डन में जो भी टाइमिंग है शेड्यूल है उस हिसाब से बहुत सुंदर काम करता है और आप सोचते हैं कि मेरे गार्डन में दस फूल खिलें वहाँ वो नए नए एक्सपेरिमेंट करता है थोड़ा टाइम देता है क्लिनिंग ज़्यादा करता है और चीज़ों को देखभाल करता है और आप क्योंकि रिजल्ट दिखता है एक हफ्ते दस दिन में आप देखते हैं कि बगिया बहुत सुंदर लग रही है उसका आने का कमिटमेंट है कंसिस्टेंसी है रेगुलरिटी है टाइम को करने का एक डेडिकेशन है प्यार से और कई बार वो आपसे बातें भी करता है अच्छी अच्छी बातें भी करता है तो इसमें आप देखेंगे कि आप अपने अंदर ही सोचेंगे कि यार मैं जितना इसको पैसा दे रहा हूँ उस हिसाब से तो ये बहुत ज़्यादा काम कर रहा है और वो आपसे सैलरी की डिमांड भी नहीं करता है तो आपके मन में ऑटोमेटिक ये आता है कि ये बंदा बहुत अच्छा है ज़रूरी है मेरे काम के लिए और इस तरह से आप नेक्स्ट मंथ खुद ही उसको देने की कोशिश करते हैं अगर नहीं भी दे पाते मान लो इनक्रीज सैलरी तो भी आप कोशिश करते हैं कि वो कम्फर्टेबली आपके साथ काम करें या आपके साथ आपके गार्डन की देखभाल वो ही करे तो ये एक होता है जब आपको पैसा मिल रहा है जितना उससे ज़्यादा काम करके दिखाओगे तो सामने वाला आपके लिए आप पे डिपेंड हो जाता है और वो आपको उसके बाद आपको सैलरी हाइक लेना कोई बहुत बड़ी बात नहीं ज़्यादातर लोग 95 परसेंट लोग उल्टा करते हैं पहले सैलरी हाइक मांगते हैं उसके बाद काम में चोरी करते हैं तो वहाँ फिर ग्रोथ नहीं होती आप काम को डेडिकेटेडली करिए और उसके बाद सैलरी और आपका जो भी है वो तो अपने आप आ जाएगा लेकिन ये लोग इसको जो सिद्धांत समझते हैं कि पहले मैं बड़ी सी सैलरी मांग लूँ उसके बाद मैं उसको बेनिफिट लूँ ये नहीं होता तो इसीलिए हम क्या करेंगे कि अब हमारा जो लाइफ का पैटर्न है उसको हम बदलेंगे पहले हम बहुत अच्छा काम करके दिखाएंगे और उसके बाद हम सैलरी की डिमांड भी नहीं करेंगे लेकिन वो अपने आप इनक्रीज हो जाएगी अ प्लीजिंग पर्सनैलिटी मोस्टली इन लोगों की आ, इन लोगों का सेंस ऑफ ह्यूमर बहुत अच्छा रहा सभी का दे मेड लाइफ इजी एंड कंफर्टेबल जो मतलब अपनी ही परिस्थितियों से अपनी ही तरह से चीज़ों को हंसी खेल में बदल देते हैं अपनी ही लाइफ की वन से वो हंसी मजाक करते हैं एक्यूरेट थिंकिंग मोस्ट ऑफ दिस पीपल दे थॉट क्लियरली उन्हें पता है सबसे बड़ी चीज़ है लाइफ का गोल आपका गोल पता होना चाहिए आपको करना क्या आज का दिन आपका कैसा निकलेगा आप पर डे बेसिस जीना सीखो जस्ट सेट अ गोल फॉर पर डे ओके टूडे फॉर एग्जाम्पल वट हाउ मेनी आवर्स यू आर गोइंग टू रीड वट इज़ यूर आई मीन यू नो सपोज एनी फैमिली वर्क इज देयर यू जस्ट डिवाइड इट यू फिक्स इट दैट दीज आर द थिंग्स विच आई नीड टू कम्प्लीट टूडे बाय द इवनिंग वैन यू आर स्लीपिंग यू आर एक्चुअली कॉन्फिडेंट इनफ कि चलो ठीक है मैं आज मैंने अपना काम कर लिया उसके बाद है कंसनट्रेशन uh, काम में इनका सबका हंड्रेड परसेंट कंसनट्रेशन देखिए हंड्रेड मार्क्स आपको दिख रहा होगा हैंनरी फोर्ड बेंजामिन फ्रैंकलिन वॉशिंगटन जॉर्ज वॉशिंगटन एंड एब्राहम लिंगन दे आर ऑल वर्ल्ड क्लास पर्सनालिटीज इस किताब में इन्हीं का डाटा है इसलिए मैं यही पढ़ पा रही हूँ इंडिया का कोई पर्सनालिटी होता तो हम उनको भी जो भी सक्सेसफुल है उनका मार्किंग पैटर्न यही होगा हंड्रेड परसेंट होगा ओके सो देन प्रॉफिटिंग बाई फेलियर अगर फेलियर हो गया लाइफ में तो उससे भी बेनिफिट निकाल लेते हैं प्रॉफिट निकाल लेते हैं टॉलरेंस दे ऑल ऑफ देम हैड लॉट ऑफ टॉलरेंस प्रैक्टाइजिंग इन द गोल्डन रूल एंड गोल्डन रूल वॉट एवर द सक्सेस रूल ऑफ द सक्सेस इज देयर एंड यूनिवर्सल लो सो दीज आर द थिंग्स आई एम ट्राइंग टू गिव यू अवर टारगेट इज फोर्टी फाइव मिनट रीडिंग पर डे सो टूडे इट सेल्फ आई कैन टेल यू दैट आई मीन यू नो दिस इज द फर्स्ट डे and we are reading any book and you can actually find out how many things we are learning today so that's how you know it it's a many way it's a multi fold benefit for you 
if you are reading 45 minutes per day it's not only english improving it is completely changing the personality we would be enriched with the best of the ideas in our mind our lifestyle will change our thinking patterns will change our success rate will enhance and i don't know so many things will come in our uh, life so that's how we have to do and that is why people uh, you know say correctly that uh, read every day that's why uh, successful people are all people are always a uh, reading so let me just come to my point again and the point is i was giving you uh, quotations the best uh, rose buds i think the quotation is now you see that this table and uh, this table if you see again the another personalities are napoleon bonaparte helen keller uh, eleanor roosevelt bill gates james g chess chens Uh, yourself we can you can mark yourself also and yourself after uh, first read before reading this book you mark yourself and after reading so these are the uh, these are the people napoleon bonaparte very successful helen keller who was the first deaf and dumb girl who wrote her autobiography and a uh, it's a very successful story uh, in every school book uh, her story is there uh, eleanor roosevelt uh, bill gates and at jess james these are all successful people we are going to read about them the next is uh, this is the book actually i'm trying to show you in the pdf okay so lesson 1 the introduction or mastermind how you can mastermind uh, this is what time is a master worker that uh, heals the wounds of temporary defeat and equalizes the Uh, inequalities and rights the wrong of the world there is nothing impossible uh, with time so time is the biggest factor and then introduction i mean this is a book because uh, i told you you can read this book but this book the good thing is this book is having wonderful quotations in between i hope he is giving this quotations in the soft copy now this is this is the next quotation which i am going to read no man has a chance to enjoy permanent success until he begins to look in a mirror uh, for the real cause of all his mistakes so if you want to become a successful person uh, you have to look into the mistakes you have to look into the mistakes of your life so what i'm trying to give you actually this book has a beautiful quotations uh, after every 2 3 pages and that's what i'm trying to give you next is if you must slander someone don't speak it but write it uh write it in the sand near the water's edge so there is no uh space in your mind for the anger we don't have any anger for anyone write it on the sand means it would simply disappear with the next wave of the sea so uh this should not be permanent the next is uh, don't be afraid of little opposition remember that the kite of success generally rises against the wind of adversity not with it okay so in this way i this is what we will try to cover this book the next quotation is uh, render more service than for a uh, which you are paid and you will soon be paid for a uh, more than you are you render the law of increasing returns that takes care of this so uh, what is the most successful law the law of increasing returns we we generally expect uh, uh, you know hike salary hike the salary we we think of promotion and everything but we before that we need to see that how much services we are giving then this book i like because it gives lot of quotations you know and the everything also if you read it is actually amazing now next again every failure is a blessing in disguise providing it teaches some needed lessons one could not have learned without it most so called failures are only temporary defeats so i would suggest you to read this book it's interesting it is available in the hard and the soft copy i preferably read hard copy because i write many time notes also and this is what the next quotation to believe in the heroic makes heroic what do you believe buddha also says what we think we become okay and what we become we 
what we think we uh, believe, what we believe we do and what we do we become. So this is the simple principle. जो हम सोचते हैं उसी में हम विश्वास करते हैं और जो हम विश्वास करते हैं वही हम काम करते हैं और जो हम काम करते हैं उसी में फिर हम आगे बढ़ते हैं उसी में हम वैसे ही हम बढ़ते If you do not believe in incorporation, look at what happened to the wagon that loses a wheel. अगर आपको लोगों के साथ काम करने की आदत नहीं है तो उस गाड़ी का या उस वैगन का या उस कार का हाल देख लीजिए जिसके पहिए पंचर हो जाते हैं या उसके पहिए अलग अलग हो जाते हैं वो गाड़ी नहीं चल पाएगी सो दैट्स हाउ बिलीव इन कॉपरेशन ऑफ वर्किंग विद द पीपल ओके सो दिस इज वॉट द बिकॉज आवर वर्क इज ओनली फॉर फोर्टी फाइव डेज एंड वी हैव टू रीड मैनी मैनी बुक्स बाई नेक्स्ट कमिंग थर्टी वन डेज सो दैट्स हाउ दिस इज वॉट नेक्स्ट इज करेज इज the standing army of the soul which keeps it from conquest pillage and slavery henry van dyke henry van dyke kehte hain ki courage ek aapki jo soul hai aapki atma ka ek army hai standing army standing army matlab ready to fight aur as army soti bhi hai army aaram bhi karti hai na army rest bhi karti lekin resting mode mein nahi hai yahan pe standing army hai hamari next time i will be speaking most of the time in english and i think my audience are wonderful and they are very wise so uh, we will our discussions will mostly going on in english man sees to increase uh, uh, interest us when we find their limitations the only sin is limitation as soon as you once come up to a man's limitations it's all over with him uh, this is immersion so nobody likes a person who is with the limitation you know always project yourself unlimited you can do everything everything is possible for you that's how and believe me a human brain has a, a very wonderful elasticity what do you start thinking you start doing also okay so uh, this next quotation is Uh, you cannot become a power in your community nor achieve enduring success in any worth undertaking until you become big enough to blame yourself for your own mistakes and reverse okay so reverse mein kya hai ki we blame others uh, for everything i mean somebody else has done this to me you know my life is ruined because of some x y z uh, i couldn't buy a home uh, i couldn't buy a car um, i i don't have a good lifestyle Uh, my children are not in a good condition these are the uh, mostly most of the time uh, unsuccessful people always say these kind of statements so this is regretting but successful people they take the responsibility what do they say they say no uh, if i failed it was because of me i couldn't prepare that's why if the condition of my home is there because of me because maybe i'm not working properly if my children are not in a good condition i have to take the responsibility to make their life better so that's how you increase the elasticity of your brain that is the most powerful uh, thing we can do to our mind and believe me what we believe we uh, do and what we do we become that's what the simple principle so first start believing first start believing that you can do it this next quotation is uh and never in the history of the world uh, has there been such abundant opportunity as there is not for uh, now for the person who is willing to serve before trying to collect okay aaj ka jo time hai wo usme best of opportunities and, and believe me napoleon bonaparte when he's writing a book it's a very old time right now we are living in the in the time of youtube in the time of internet everything is available every single person is the master of their own uh, or, or own thing so you just think of your uh, your success story okay what you can do what you can deliver to the people what you can give new to the world that is the best way you can uh, do so that's how we have to do and i think for today uh, we have done our work so uh, uh, i mean our task is 45 minutes per day for next 31 days and that's how we would come and after 45 for uh, 31 days let's see what are the changes coming in our life so dear friends kindly uh, i request you one thing 
so thank you for watching this video kindly subscribe the channel success matrix like share and press the bell icon and uh, wait for the next video uh, tomorrow we will be uploading uh, next video and uh, this is a continuous series for next 31 days and let's try uh, whether we are able to uh, follow this consistency or not thank you so much for watching thank you so much for giving this precious time and uh, if you subscribe my channel if you like and share it it gives me a lot of boost up so kindly subscribe don't forget to subscribe my channel success matrix thank you so much jai hind